Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Home Style Cooking. I am Mrs. Vashav. Today I am going to share another very very simple paratha. My husband loves paratha. Whichever paratha I make, he enjoys like anything. Today I am going to make gobi matar paratha. You all know how to make gobi matar ki sabzi. That is nothing but cauliflower and peas curry. The same way, you know, you can just make the, you know, curry with the leftover curry. You can make an awesome parathas. But today I am making fresh and making this paratha. So to make this, first we need a pan and little bit oil. So usually when you, you know, cook your gobi matar ki sabzi, you usually cut your gobi into flowers. So what I did is I have taken the flower, big flower and I grated it and I am using this grated gobi and some green peas. These green peas also store bought green peas. If you have you know the raw ones you can just soak it and boil it and use it. So first add some cumin seeds. Now we are going to add the grated cauliflower. If you want you can add onions also but today I am not adding onions. And in this we are going to add the green peas, just half cup of green peas and some red chilli powder. If you are making for kids you can reduce the chilli powder and some turmeric, you know whichever way you want you can just make it and some coriander, coriander powder also and ginger garlic paste. Just mix it and you know we have already grated it so it won't take much time to cook your gobi. So just for one or two minutes you can saute it in a very very slow flame and that's it our you know stuffing for our paratha will be ready. And in the last we are going to add the amchur powder little bit to give some sourness and salt also as per taste. So after a minute just switch off the flame and that's it our nice stuffing that is gobi matar. In English we call it as cauliflower and green peas. So this is ready we are going to transfer it into a plate and this we are going to rest it till it is little bit you know cool down then we are going to mash the green peas and stuff it into our dough. So to make the dough I have already mixed the dough and kept it ready see nice and soft. To make this dough I added very little of salt little bit oil and enough water to mix this dough. So that's it I rested it also for 5 minutes and now it's all ready to make our paratas. The mixture has cooled down so what I did is in between I just mashed this you know green peas and this is ready. If you want you can just check the taste also. So this I am going to make a nice dumpling. To get a good paratas your dough should be nice and soft so that your stuffing won't you know come out. So just make it well. Now take your gobi and mutter mixture and seal the edges that's it and this is ready to roll our paratha. I am just going to show one more always your dough should be less and the mixture should be more if you want a nice stuffed parathas. So just nice well and the stuffing inside and seal it and that's it. Now this is all ready to roll. So just dust some flour, you know wheat flour and then roll it very very gently. If you press it too much then your mixture will come out and don't make it too thin. Your paratha should be little bit thick. So just make it little bit thick. So that's it. I have rolled it nicely. Now this is ready to go onto our tawa. So just add some butter, very little and now your paratha. Just rotate it. I usually do like this and we are going to cook this till you get a nice golden color on both the sides. So dear friends you can see this has got nice color both the sides and now switch off the flame. In the last what you can do is just put it onto a serving plate and put a piece of butter on top of it and then you enjoy it. So here what you can do is I keep telling every time whenever I make parathas either you know for kids I cut it into two or you know even like pizza shape and it's easy for them you know to have it for lunch or even for breakfast and for my husband I will give it whole like that 
and some curd beside and some onions and a green chilli and he will enjoy these parathas like anything. Here is my awesome green peas and cauliflower paratha ready to taste. Wow! So dear friends, I am going to enjoy this nice awesome paratha. You guys make it and enjoy with your family and share it with your friends. So see you in another session with some more recipes that too home style.